sheet metal world, the contour flange, corner round, and punch tool have been migrated over from the legacy dialog boxes into the new property panels as well. And now we have this included on the contour panel. And so this allows us to see our preview here. But if you haven't used the property panels or noticed this, you can go directly between the sketch and the feature. So if you just want to edit the sketch, you can just click on the sketch here and you can go right back into edit mode. And if you wanted to change this one to 1.25, make a change and then right back into the feature mode. So you don't have to exit the features. You'll find up the other command for the sketch that's driving this feature. Just make a change here. Just toggle it right here to the sketch. Change this to 1.625. Back to our contour flange. And everything is here. Now we have our options here if we're inside, if we're flipping it, if we're center line being symmetric. We have the manipulators so we can pull our distance here. We can one direction, flip the direction. We can be symmetrical or asymmetrical if you want to go in one area versus the other with different uh, dimensions there. So as we make this component here, if we come back and go to edit this guy, we can create new sketches here on it. See our sketch that's there, share the sketch. If we go back to edit the sketch here, it takes us directly to the sketch environment there. If we go back and edit the feature, we can always go back to the sketch from here as well. So again, added for the contour flange, for the corner round, and for the punch tool there as well.